Okay, so in this video, we're going to be look at looking at how to conduct hypothesis testing in the TI-8384 using two dependent sample means. Now, dependent means are often referred to as paired tests as well. So this is the same thing. Uh, we're looking at two samples that are taken together um, where the values uh, in each of the lists uh, correlate to each other sort of strongly. So they are paired in some fashion. Uh, they may be taken at the same time or they may be based on the sort of say opinion of the same um, ad or something like that. So they're somehow each observation in the two categories is related to each other directly. So that means that they depend on each other. So let's look at some sample data and see uh, how it goes. So in the table below, we're given the number of steps taken in a day for a sample of nine husband and wife pairs. Uh, we wanna conduct a t-test at the level of 10% significance to determine if the mean difference in the number of steps taken is different than zero. Now, one thing about uh, dependent uh, hypothesis testing uh, for two samples like this is that in order to do a dependent analysis, um, you have to have the raw data. You cannot do a test of dependent samples without the raw data. You can't do them from summary statistics because we need to actually essentially turn the, this paired data into essentially a single data set because we're looking at the differences from each uh, pair of observations and we can't do that without the raw data. So that may help you to distinguish between the paired case and the unpaired case or the independent case. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that the two data sets have to be exactly the same length. Um, if one of the, the data sets is longer or shorter than the other one, then that can only be independent. It can't be dependent. All right, so for this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to enter the data into our list uh, inside the calculator. And we're gonna have to enter the husband and wife uh, in different lists in the same order. So in order to enter that into the list, we're gonna go to the stat. And then on the edit screen, we're gonna select edit and hit enter. And then we're gonna enter the list of the husband into list one, and then the data for the wife in list two. And they, they again, they need to be in the order that they're provided in the problem uh, because the, the pairs need to go together. Um, so the, the relationships matter. Now, then what we can do is we can calculate the differences uh, if we calculate the differences, we can then say in L3, so scroll over to L3, then we're going to call up L1 minus L2. Now, in principle, it doesn't matter what order you do um, this uh, subtraction in. Uh, we're doing a test that to see if they're different from zero. Um, and so the sign that you're subtracting in doesn't really matter. Um, if you're doing a less than or a greater than, you do need to be careful about which one you're claiming is greater than or less than the other one. But here it doesn't matter. So you can do L1 minus L2 or L2 minus L1, it doesn't matter. Uh, to call up L1, hit second one, and then minus, and then to do L2, second two. Now, once uh, this data is stored in list three like this, then you can escape out of the screen and go back to the stat menu and go over to the tests menu. Now, by calculating the differences like this, we've essentially converted this into a one sample test. And so from the stat menu, scroll over to the test submenu, and then go to your one sample t-test, which is uh, line two. Now, when that information comes up, we're gonna enter zero for the population mean, and we're going to put L3 next to the list. Notice that we have data highlighted here because we're calculating from that collection of differences that we calculated in list three. And then you're gonna select 
um, the inequality, the not equals to test from the list of tests. And then finally, scroll down to calculate and press enter and get the results of the test. Now, the thing is, again, notice that the paired t-test, we've essentially converted two samples into a single sample by calculating the differences. And so our test results are based on those differences. So our alternative was not equal to zero. The test statistic we found was 1.56 approximately. The p-value is 0.15. And then the x-bar and the standard deviation from our sample, as well as the sample size, are also listed here in case we need them. Now, if we're using alpha of 0.1, this p-value is higher than that. And therefore, we are unable to reject the null hypothesis. And that suggests that there is no difference. There's not enough evidence to support a claim that there is a difference uh, between the number of steps taken by husbands and wives. 